Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So yesterday I posted letting you guys know about another unfortunate update issue after installing the latest optional bug fix updates for Windows 10 and Windows 11. Now I'll leave a link down below to that video if you want more info, but just a quick recap for the purpose of this video. Uh, the updates were KB5029351 for Windows 11 22H2 and 5029331 for Windows 10 version 22H2. And uh, Microsoft had received ports, reports, as I mentioned in that video, of an issue in which users are receiving an unsupported processor error a message on a blue screen. So that's a stop error with a blue screen of death after installing these updates that rolled out um, dated the 22nd, 23rd of August, um, depending on your region. Now, just to let you know that there has been a bit of a development regarding this issue where uh, Microsoft now has, according to reports, um, stopped rolling out those optional updates. So um, if you are trying to find the updates and you're not seeing these updates uh, for your system on your Windows Update page because op optional updates will not be downloaded and installed automatically, if you're not seeing those updates, it means that Microsoft has uh, basically stopped those updates uh, due to um, user feedback, obviously negative user feedback. So they've basically removed the update for now. And obviously they are trying to find a solution to this issue. Now, um, basically the issue was affecting mainly MSR motherboards, um, irrespective if you had an Intel or an AMD processor installed. And there's also reports that um, a recent MSR BIOS update could have also caused the issue. So if you are experiencing this issue and you have the technical know-how after these updates have been installed um, regarding KB5029351 and KB5029331 and you have recently updated your BIOS and you are running MSR hardware, then um, you can try and uninstall that update and roll back that, that BIOS update. Apparently, there are reports even on this channel that that uh, is resolving the issue. But nonetheless, just wanted to keep you guys updated uh, because I know a lot of you and some of you are experiencing this issue from the comments over the last um, day or so. And at this stage, Microsoft has pulled and removed those updates, obviously. And if more information has become available, I will let you guys know and keep you posted. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.